Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're back with another episode of Submit Your Truck and we've got quite the diversity in this video. We've got blazers, we've got short bed trucks, long bed trucks, F100s, F150s, all sorts of trucks in this episode. So I really, really hope you guys like it. Appreciate you all for submitting your trucks. We've still got hundreds to go through, but keep submitting them because we're gonna keep this going. If you're looking for a way to submit your truck, hit the link down in the video description all the details are there. Let's jump right in. Here's the new episode of Submit Your Truck. Good morning, guys. This is my 1975 Chevrolet G10. Uh, it has 15 by 8s all the way around. It's been lowered two and a half inches in the front. Uh, it has a stock 350 engine with a turbo 350 transmission. Uh, inside, it's got a wood floor and a wood headliner that we put in last summer. And my wagon that I built to match the van. Uh, still more to do on the inside. I did make the uh, door knobs, the horn button, and the shifter handle out of resin. And it's got a 55 Chevrolet truck steering wheel. I hope to lower the back end and finish the interior on the short term goals and hopefully a LS swap and maybe some clear coat on the long term. Um, I know it's not UBT, but maybe UBV. Hope y'all enjoy. Thank you. Hey United by Trucks, my name is David. I'm C10 Copper on Instagram. This is my 1971 C10 long bed. I am the third owner. Bought it from the second owner who did not take as good a care of it as you see it as it is now. Um, I have pretty much done everything on this truck. Uh, when I bought it, it was all original in very, very poor shape. Uh, since I bought it, I put a new Chevy 350 small block underneath the hood with a Lunati drivetrain, aluminum heads, long tube headers. Uh, it currently sits on a 5.7 static suspension, uh, springs and blocks, and the paint was done by a buddy of mine. Currently sits on 20 by 8 and 20 by 10 torque thrusts and has a full MagnaFlow dual exhaust. Let me give you a shot of the motor. I just got the motor in about, well, about two or three weeks ago, got it all running. Have a full uh, serpentine drive on it from a uh, 93 Suburban and uh, runs on a Edelbrock 750 carb. Runs like a champ, just got it dialed in the other day. And last but not least, this is my interior. It's a TMI bucket or correction bench seat and uh, all factory gauges. Thanks for uh, doing this. It's pretty exciting. Hopefully I make it onto one of your videos. What's up guys? This is my 1981 K5 Blazer. Running on full bags right now, sitting on blocks and jack stands because I'm doing a cross member pancake. That project's not for the faint of heart, but I have not been taught how to do it. I have read everything I needed to know off the internet and done it in my basically one and a half car garage with basic hand tools and some welders. Um, so it can be done by anybody. Up front, I run a 355 small block Chevy with a pretty decent cam, uh, long tube headers, 3 inch exhaust into some Flowmaster Super 10s, uh, run a Sniper EFI system on top. Uh, highly encourage you if you're going to run that system that you pay attention to the details when you're installing. Um, if you don't, you can have a lot of gremlins that take you forever to figure it out. But other than that, a beautiful system. Got the United by Truck sticker represent, I've got extensive sticker right here and I've got a Thor Brothers sticker on the other windshield. I've got parts from both of those companies in this truck. They helped me out a ton. Inside, I've got Dakota Digital Gauges, probably the best investment I've made for this truck. Plug and play, amazing product. Inside, I've got the original bucket seats that have been covered. I've got the rear seats out of a uh, 2014 Tahoe. I believe they're the third row. They do fold down, flip up, or remove, depending on if I need it or not. And then in the rear, I've got two Vire 444s, five gallon tank, 
and then some kicker solo barrack l7s dude those things are the loudest speakers i've ever had super loud i run 20 inch riddlers all the way around and like i said nobody taught me how to do any of this stuff this is just what i want how i see it on the internet learn it and then apply what i find what i learned you could do it all right guys that's it have a good one thanks united by trucks my name is cliff spangler i have a 1996 silverado this truck started its life first life as a farm truck and within the last 12 months i've been able to transition it over into my personal uh custom hot rod i got 20 by 8 22 by 11 ramblers us mags on the rear I have LMC uh, bumpers. I was able to use the Little Shop front and rear disc brakes. Let's take a look inside. Everything inside has been upgraded. I put in uh, leather seats, which was a custom conversion kit from a company called leatherseats.com. Upgraded to a billet steering wheel along with a new state-of-the-art touchscreen Pioneer tablet. A nice custom hand-painted pinstripe by a local artist here in town by the name of High Volts. I'd like to thank you guys for your opportunity to, to show you my home-built OBS. Hey, United by Trucks. I wanted to show you our mini bike rooster. There's my son Gideon, and this is Gideon and I's little project. Um, the mini bike is just a bonus. Uh, Gideon and I went and got this about a year ago. It's an 87 Sierra Classic, so it's a fuel injected. It's got the 350 it came with in there. We've just been spending time really getting it sound. Um, we did put slosh tubs in it um, because it has been lowered. Uh, stainless headers with a two and a half inch exhaust. Got it looking patina. Shout out to our C10 Arkansas club guys out there. Um, it's got about a five and a half, four drop on it. We have 20 by nine and a halfs with 275s in the back. Uh, 20 by 8s, 245s in the front. It's an homage truck. It's a business my family used to have. Inside, door panels are rough. Dash pad is cracked. Carpet needs replaced. Seat is decent. Uh, front bumper and rear bumper have been replaced from LMC truck. Uh, we would like to, at some point, do the tuck that you guys uh, featured on your channel. Other than that, I think that's it. Um, enjoying the content. Do you have something else to add? Um, shout out to um, Mike's Slosh. Oh, yeah. Slosh Tubs, Mike Losh. Appreciate all the videos, guys. Enjoying the trucks. Out. So, this is my 1955 Chevy 3100. Uh, it's all original except the front sheet metal is from a 57. Uh, interesting things about this truck is my great grandpa bought it brand new in 55 and it's worked its way down to me. Uh, the Everything's original, like I said, and the numbers matching powertrain with uh, some cool things. This was built, Petty Wright was built by my great grandpa. This welding bracket was built by my grandpa. Uh, original paint, every ding that's been done by something in the family. It's got really nice patina overall the uh, beds all original original wood and trimmings so uh, things that have been done to it um, it's got different brake lights everything's broken uh, it's got some things out in the interior it's been the seats been reupholstered uh, it's obviously you've got new panels here with primer all over them uh, it's got so 45,000 original miles it's a three speed on the tree with a 235 straight six uh, things we're going to be doing to it is we're probably going to be putting some carpet in here. Uh, it's got these primer pieces painted. 
and uh, we're going to be keeping some of the writing that my great grandpa put on up there, as you can tell from, like I said, 1974. Uh, to the exterior, we're going to put in a clear coat to just preserve the patina a little bit better. And that's pretty much all we're going to do to it for right now. We're not looking at any engine modifications. Uh, the engine has been refreshed um, around the 80s, unknown what was done to it. But yeah, this is uh, my 55 Chevy. All right, guys, here's my factory two wheel drive 1971 Blazer. Drivetrain is a 6.0 LS2 4L80 Trans. It's pretty much just got a static drop, pretty much as low as you can go without uh, notching it. Uh, I bought the truck pretty much repainted. The interior was done. I've added the top, the wood grain trim. Um, these wheels are one off customs uh, made to look like the CST caps. Tires are from Diamondback Custom. <clears throat> Up front, they are 9 by 20s. And 11 by 22s in the rear. Nice slip there. I got these custom badges made for the truck. Kind of depicting it as a two-wheel drive truck. <laughs> a little dirty right now, but good thing about this color, you can't really tell when it's dirty or not. The truck was repainted, it's factory light yellow. As you can tell right there. All right, so we've got a 66 Chevy C10. Uh, just pulled it out of a field in West Texas. And uh, the plan right now is to get it mechanically complete and running and all the mechanical systems good. The body is fair. Uh, it's got fairly good patina on it. The hood. Of course the hood hinges are bent and broke. I got new ones coming. Um, it's got the typical rust down along here. The frame is straight. Uh, I've already gone and done some mechanical a look at what the freeze plugs inside the block looked like so uh, interior wise it's all stock glass is all good seat is um, in a little bit of disrepair it's got some cracking in the seat dash has not been molested um, you can see through the floorboards in a couple of spots don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it guys I know that mechanically I want it perfect I want to be able to drive it and trust it I don't know what I'm gonna do with the body if I'm gonna finish it out or leave it the way it is or uh, potentially just sell it I don't know why don't you all tell me what to do thanks all right guys, this is my 1977 Ford truck F-150. Pretty much all original California plates. I bought it like three months ago. And I bought it because my dad used to have one. So it brings good memories. Everything's in stock. It came with that radio. I kind of like it, so I left it. I believe it's the original paint. It has some patina on it. It has a V8 351. It came with the truck. Everything's a stock. I haven't changed anything. It runs pretty good. 
I paint the valve cover just to make it a little bit nicer, but everything's in stock. I really enjoyed this truck. I like the patina on it, I like the orange. It's a long bed F-150. And there it is, that's my truck. Hey everybody, this is my 88 R30. I call her Judy. Uh, bag, lace frame, 24s, all the way around, all six 24s. Um, got suicide doors on the passenger side. Truck's been around, it was built out west. Been around for a little while. No one ever finished the other side. So this is the only side that's suicide. It's got a 12 valve Cummins with a Getrag 360 trans. Shoehorned in there. It and the 24s, they don't allow for a whole lot of room. Future upgrades. I'd like to swap out the front cross member, put in a GSI cross member, get rid of that nasty, ugly camber, stand the wheels up, put some fender wells in it, and of course, hook up the AC. And, you know, make it look pretty. When it was built, the air rod was built stout. What you have is a cabin chassis, 14 bolt rear end. So it allows you to have all four full-size wheels on there tucked and laid under factory fenders it's got tour bus airbags in the back help it ride really good i mean it, it rides like a cadillac but this is my truck thanks for checking it out hey guys glad you're doing this here's my chevy i'll let her speak for herself hi my name is dixie junkie but you can call me dixie for short on the 67 long bed 3 4 ton step side. Only 785 made in 67. I've had many men over the years, but finally fell in love with the man that treats me right. Let's start with my outside. I've got four wheel disc brakes. Big ones. From a K20 flip upside down in the rear. Sway bar from 73 through 87. Frito lay box truck. Fuel cell from Boyd's with a pump in the tank. My bed has been laid with Alabama tags because my home's in Alabama. Now to the inside. I got rid of all my gauges so you really have a clean view of my dash Cadillac touch button ignition. I'd be hard to steal away from my man. I found an extra glove box door to cover myself properly. Now. We've waited long enough. Let's move to the heart of Dixie. I'm a four point great LS 4L65E with power steering, electric fans, and cruise control. I'm really happy with the man I'm with, but I am a bit of a gold digger. If the money was right, I would leave in a Chevy heartbeat. Thanks for looking. Now get off me, you freak. All right, guys, again, thanks for doing this. My name is Jeff. That's my C20, and I'm in Alabama. See you. Hey there, Robbie. I thought I'd send in a video of my truck. It's a 75 F100 Super Cab with a 5.3 4L60E combo in it. It's lifted with a 5-inch Auto Fab wheel drive lift under the front. Diva leaf springs in the rear. It was originally a long bed truck. I cut the frame down and put this flare side bed on it. Uh, we geared the rear end 411 with the Eaton Posi. A lot of fun to work on. A lot of fun to drive. Interior's in decent shape. Uh, got some captain's chairs out of a, out of a Bronco. A Dakota digital gauges, which are awesome, if anybody's wondering. Uh, it's a pretty neat old truck. Uh, 
Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Carrie Lewis from St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, here's my 69 Chevy C10. It actually used to be a long bed. Um, I painted it last year. I've had it for about four years. So as you can see, it's my C10. Um, it has a reclaimed wood bed in it. Punch some holes in the wheel tubs to get the smoke out. But it uh, doesn't have too much going on that it's going to make some smoke. It's just a small 350, 350 transmission. Um, right now I'm installing AC, just got to hook up the hoses. I uh, bought a, a bead roller and I made my uh, front panels there. Uh, Atomic Armadillo Metal Fab did some work for me as well. He did the uh, firewall panel and then also on the inside he did some of the uh, custom door panels. And uh, kick panels down there as well as the uh, radio delete. I made the uh, cup holder myself. So, and the seat I still have to get a another seat cover made. Uh, that is actually used to be a tan cover. I just used some paint on it. Also did some custom work on my air cleaner there. Punched some holes in there. So that's about it. Love the channel. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Here's my 1960 Chevrolet Apache. Converter to a five lug. Stock suspension. It's just got a uh, disc brake conversion kit. 79 C10 rear end out of it. 308. Pro 06 small block built. Plan is to have a nice performance suspension under it. Thanks. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed that. If you will, let us know down in the comment what your favorite truck in this video is. I gotta say that Cliff Spangler's 96 OBS is probably one of the cleaner trucks I've seen, especially as it relates to OBS, come across the channel. So really, really cool to have that truck be a part of the Submit Your Truck videos today. But let us know what your favorite truck in this Submit Your Truck episode is. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button if you like what you've seen today and leave a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite truck in this episode of Submit Your Truck is. We'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.